Hello, my name is Vladimir Gordiev, and this is my second two-minute quick video. Let's talk about user interface for tree editing. And first, I want to talk about text ed editing interface. It's easy to navigate text editing. You just set fixed width, and you use scroll bars to navigate horizontally in one dimension. With trees, it's not that easy. If you just map it uh, by x and y coordinates, then distance between different children is really big and user may lose a context like for example like here and the second is that trees might be really really big and calculating layout might be a challenge better idea to this than this is to keep part of the trees collapsed and expand it as user navigates through it by the way here is the depth of scroll bar you're gonna hear about it in the next minutes so <clears throat> Here I scroll, I drag the canvas, and tree expands as I do it. And each list of children is going to have its own scroll bar, which I can move and navigate in a, in a similar manner as we do with text. And we can navigate really deeply, and we can go back using a depth scroll bar, as we have see, see here, for example. So we go back. And because we discovered this path in depth, we can go forward again. This way we can navigate <coughs> really big trees and keep the context. But it's a little bit awkward because it doesn't follow intuition of Euclidean geometry. For example, locating horizontally and vertically, or vertically and horizontally, would like move you to different places because tree would expand differently in each of those scenarios. Um, that's it for today.